This is Nikki in Niagara from Ni Niagara Falls, Canada, coming to you live. I have so many things that I want to film for you that I don't know where to start. Fortunately, today my mailbox brought the glossy box. So my decision was made for me. Last month I received my first box of my first glossy box and I was absolutely thrilled with everything I got. I even found a new product or I should say a new brand that I ended up going online and buying another product from the brand. It was so good. Now we will start with this one. I don't know what's in here and I haven't opened it. I just, if you heard, took off the uh, rip strip. <laughs> it has another name. Let me know. Uh, so I do know one thing that's in here. I try really, really hard not to see any spoilers or read any spoilers uh, for my boxes. But I, ac uh, well, not accidentally, but I logged on to my glossy points and at that point I accidentally saw a list of the items that were in this box that I hadn't received yet. Fortunately my eyes went to one word and after seeing that word I realized it was stuff I hadn't received and I quickly not I quickly looked away. So I know one product that's in here don't know anything about it. I just know the word. Okay, so we're going to open it up. This is different. Consumer Commodity. I've never seen that sticker on a, on a box before. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. And let you guys have a look. Inside our gorgeously decorated box is the actual box which comes like this. It's a wonderful heavy box with a uh, reusable potential in it there. Uh, let's turn things the right way around. This is heavy. It is really heavy for the size it is. The glossy boxes aren't that big but this is heavy, so I'm putting it over to the side, and I'm not going to look. So, I'm going to reach around. Maybe, hopefully, I'll find some paper first. Okay, this is paper. Here we go. This month's theme is Spring Awakening, which sounds intriguing, and the colors of the brochure are beautiful, purple, and peach. This is Spring Awakening. Now, they give you a huge poster-sized pamphlet that tells you all the items that you're going to get. So I'm not looking at that right now. We'll read them when I come to the things if I don't know what we're talking about. Next thing is, is that this is very professionally and elegantly boxed. Nice, nice, nice presentation. Being a crafty girl, I will be saving the ribbon to use them for further endeavors. And I always open up my plastic, very, my tissue paper very carefully because I like to keep that sticker that they put on there. Alright, so it's open. The paper is pink plastic. The, ugh, what are the words? The tissue paper is pink and my eyes just caught the color of black inside the box. So pink and black is one of my favorite color combinations. Now, what should I open? Oh, what should I pick first? Okay, it feels like a tube. That's a box. That's a bottle of something. Let's go with that one. We have Beauty Shampoo. and beauty conditioner. These are the mystery bonus products. I have to see if they're sulfate free first. 
Sulfate. Okay. These have sulfates in them, so I can't use them. So the uh, shampoo and the conditioner will be added to my men's bathroom downstairs for the guys. Okay, next thing in, and this is a tube. We have Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. This is the word I accidentally saw, mascara. I'm thrilled to have this because I am out of mascara and I am on the search for a really good mascara. Now this is pretty straightforward. Let's have a look and see what it says about the product. Okay, I'm not sure how you pronounce that because to me that looks like douche. But I'm sure it doesn't say douche. Douce, maybe? Duque? Maybe it's Italian? I don't know. This is a full size uh, product. Intensify your lashes in outrageous volume and length. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. The XL brush fiber bristles glide through the lashes evenly, coating each lash, lash with a velvet carbon black formula that enhances the lashes by adding depth and dimension. Dim dimension. So this creamy and available formula is clump resistant, flake proof, smudge proof, and resistant to sweat and humidity. Well, it sounds like the Wonder Mascara. Oh, I'm looking forward to trying that out. I'm not going to swatch it for you. Black is black. Let me get the mascara. Okay. The next item is in a little box. Ah, yes. I knew we were getting something from this company. This is ColourPop ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick. Let's see what color I've got. This is a full-size product. And it says everybody will get two colors. Oh, it says right on the top. <laughs> I don't know if you can read that or not. But the shade is called Airplane Mode. What the heck does that mean? It is. Oh, let's open this up. This is going to be the uh, liquid gel. Oh, it's nowhere near as... I thought it would be red. On the bottom it's red, but no, this is really quite a tame color. Not exactly my cup of tea but boy that went on smoothly there's a swatch of airplane mode why would they make the ends red i don't know oh sorry maybe they all are okay it says we'll get two of these so i'm just gonna look and see yeah here's another one okay so they all have they all have red that's why this one is called thursday what color is thursday I have no idea. I don't associate any color with Thursday. This one does not want to open. Okay, there we go. And this time, oh, okay. This color interests me much more. This has got some color to it. It's either pink or maybe a little bit on the purpley side from the bottle. Let's swatch it and see what we get. Ooh. This is a nice pink. Oh my. These are incredibly creamy. This is gorgeous. The color name is a little strange. I don't particularly think of bright pink for Thursdays, but very nice. I like it better than the other one, but I'm not unpleased with the other one. So, so far, we are two for three. Next thing in the box is Be Kind Body Lotion. This is uh, I can't tell how many ounces it is. I don't think it's even says 
unless it's in print too small for me to read. Oh, 30 milliliters. Okay, so this is a sample size. Uh, Be Kind Body Lotion with a fresh lemon verbena fragrance and extracts of honey and certified organic cal calendula extracts. Giltrest and Soames Be Kind Shower Gel and Body Lotion or as soothing as they are echo friendly. Uh, did we get the shower gel in here too? Yes, we did. Okay, so that's the shower gel, the body lotion, both products I use. Now let's give these a smell. They just have a really faint citrusy smell. What did it say? Oh, lemon verbena. Yeah, you can smell that faintly. All right, next thing in here. Okay, there's a couple more things. Next thing is another tube. And we have Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator Exfoliating Cleanser. Hey, I just wrote that on my list of things I need to buy this very morning. This will tide me over until I can get a full size one. I'm always into exfoliators. This is Vasanti. I'm trying to find it on my sheet. I don't see it. Alright. Let's take it. Oh! That is the very first thing. Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. This triple action formula brightens and breaks down dead skin with papaya enzyme, exfoliates with microcrystals to help smooth your skin's surface, and cleanses with an aloe and rich cream gel. I mean, that sounds kind of thing I like. And one more thing. Let's check. Yep. One more thing. We have Chow Vince Camuda. Vince Camuda Chow Eau de Perfume. Well, what size did we get? We got Point two five fluid ounces, so just a tiny sample of this. The regular price of it is $85. Chow celebrates the spontaneity and energy of the modern woman's lifestyle with the notes including Italian mandarin, rose, jasmine, Indonesian patchouli, and glowing amber. This is sure to become a favorite scent. Okay, now that's got a lot of things in it that I like. This is definitely the type of perfume that I like. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at the little bottle. Love that. Okay, so let's smell. I'm just the lid come off. <gasps> Whoops, careful. I don't smell anything. I can't smell it in the lid. I can't smell anything. I'm going to have to put some on Mmm, it is. It's nice. It's very subtle. It's very subtle, but it's very, very nice scent. I think I'd prefer something stronger, but the scent is wonderful. Really, really wonderful. And I like getting perfume samplers because then you know whether to invest in them or not. And uh, this is the kind of thing I want. A tiny little bottle, not those little test tube things and certainly not those little cloths that you just wipe on your wrist to get a one time only sniff of it. All right, so that's everything that we got here. Uh, we got, let's put it all together on show. I'm just going to point the camera down so you can see what I've got. We've got the Chow perfume. We have two colors of color, color, color Pop Ultra Matte Lip. One is a, oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm taking my swatches and I'm rubbing on them. Look at that. They don't even smudge. Fantastic. I'm definitely going to have to try that. The uh, peachy, peachy corally color called uh, Airplane Mode. <laughs> is 
a little light for me, but I do like the shade, so I'm definitely going to try it. The uh, pink is called Thursday and definitely much more my style. Really excited about Duce's uh, mascara. I've been wanting to try new mascaras a lot. Uh, then we have Be Kind's Body Lotion and Shower Gel, which is always usable. And then we have Asante's uh, Exfoliating Cleanser, which I always need that type of product. And finally, we add to that the uh, shampoo and conditioner, which unfortunately are not sulfate-free, so I can't use them. They'll go down into my guy's bathroom. So let's take a look at how many products. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count the ones that go together as one. So shampoo and conditioner is one. Body lotion and shower gel is two. Exfoliant is three. Mascara is four. I'm going to count the individual colors. Five, six, and the perfume is seven. And for me, that is a six out of seven. I love all that stuff, and we'll be passing these on. Well, thank you for watching me, and I hope you enjoyed the... Let me put the camera back on me. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Have you received this month's glossy box? And did you receive anything different than I did? Were your colors of lipstick the same as mine? I really want to know. Uh, let me know down below in the comments and tell me if one of these is your favorite product. Please subscribe and like this video as it certainly helps me out. Bye!